Hello, my name is Courtney Russo and thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel. Um, I'm new to YouTube, as you can probably tell. I don't have an awesome setup or anything. I just have my phone and my iPad Pro and that's about it. I don't even really have a studio. This is just my kitchen table. Um, I, a little bit about myself. I started painting when I was 11 years old. That was uh, 25 years ago. I primarily work in digital media now because of vision loss. It's the only thing I can really see well enough to do. Um, I work primarily in Procreate on the iPad Pro. Uh, I paint primarily animals and dragons and sometimes landscapes in a semi-realistic style. I don't know what the, uh, what the direction to my channel is going to be, whether it's going to be tutorials or uh, time lapses, but uh, I hope that you will find it interesting. And to continue this video, it's going to be a first time lapse of my painting of my seeing eye dog Ivy, who is a German Shepherd. Anyway, thank you for watching. This is my painting of Ivy, my seeing eye dog. She's a four year old German Shepherd from the Seeing Eye in Morristown, New Jersey. When I paint, I generally paint in three basic stages. First stage is basically blocking in where I get the form and the colors down. Here I am getting the basic silhouette down and when I'm happy with it, I go around the edge with a fur brush and then I alpha lock the layer so I can keep the pixels you know, where I want them to be. The second phase is doing the basic markings, the intermediate steps, uh, basically the larger figures of a painting. With this painting, it was based off a photo my mother-in-law took. I really liked how it came out, so I wanted to do you know, a painting of it to see if I could make it even better. With Ivy's painting, and with all of my animal paintings really, if I'm doing a mammal, I use Erin Blaze's fur brushes, and then I also use one that I made myself some years ago in Photoshop. This is painted in Procreate on the iPad, but I've painted in Photoshop for years before this. Here I'm just getting her basic markings where I want them before I go in with the fur brushes to do details. And here I was figuring out the lighting, just getting a sense of where I wanted it to come from. I started with a ba darker background because it makes it easier for me to see when I'm painting because of the way my vision works. When I'm doing markings like this, I don't need to have a background in just yet. Sometimes I'll do the backgrounds first, but in my portraits I usually will do the subject first and then do the backgrounds. So for Ivy, she's a great dog. I've had her three years. And here is the fur. Typically when I'm using Erin Blaze's brushes, I'll use the short coarse fur brush set to color dynamics. That makes the fur look more realistic. With the nose, I use the old skin brush in the touch-up section for Procreate. And for the eyes, I usually start out with doing the solid eye colors and then the pupil and the shine of the eye on a different layer. We were at a beach and I used the light brush set to normal to do water. It's very effective and with the color dodge at the end, it really creates a nice effect. For lighting layers, I tend to use overlay for ambient lighting and more realistic directional lighting. And then for harsher shadows, I use multiply and for very rare things, I'll use color dodge. Color dodge is one of those great things that you should use sparingly. Thank you for watching and hit that subscribe button and like button if you like what you see and the notification bell for new videos. I am on other sort of social medias, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.